Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to solve hyperbolic equations using three methods. Firstly, we'll convert to exponential form. Then we'll use a hyperbolic Pythagorean identity. And in question three, we'll use hyperbolic identities. Okay, so let's begin. In question one, we're going to rewrite each of these equations using the definition for cosh and shine. We know cosh of x is equal to e to the x plus e to the minus x divided by 2. And shine of x is equal to e to the x minus e to the negative x over 2. So we'll rewrite question A with these definitions. So we have 3 cosh of x or 3 lots of e to the x plus e to the minus x over 2 minus e to the x and this is equal to 2. So we'll expand out these brackets and then we'll multiply everything by the 2. So we get 3e e to the x plus 3e e to the minus x. We'll multiply this and the 2 by 2. So minus 2e to the x is equal to 4. We can collect these two terms. So we get e to the x plus 3e to the minus x is equal to 4. And then we can make this equation equal 0 by moving the 4 to the left hand side. So now we get e to the x plus 3e to the minus x minus 4. Okay, so the next part of the equation, we need to cancel out this e to the negative x. And we can do this by multiplying the left and the right hand side by e to the x. Because what will happen, we'll have e to the x squared, which is e to the 2x. When we add this x with this negative x, we'll get e to the 0, which is 1. So this becomes 3. Then we have negative 4 times e to the x. So minus 4 e to the x, and this is equal to 0. Now you might recognize this as a quadratic, where we have a power of 2, a power of 1, and a constant term. So I'll rewrite it similar to a quadratic, with descending powers of x. And you can see that we can factorize this. So we have e to the x, minus 3 multiplied by e to the x minus 1 and this is equal to 0. So the two solutions will be e to the x equals 3 and e to the x equals 1. We can cancel out the e by taking the natural log of both sides. So our solutions are x is equal to the natural log of 3 and when x equals the natural log of 1 this is equal to 0. So these are our two solutions, okay? So do you want to try and solve question B using a similar method? You can pause the video and when you come back, we'll go through the work solution. Okay, so welcome back if you had a go. So again, we'll write cosh and shine in terms of their exponential form. So we get eight lots of e to the x plus e to the negative x over two minus four lots of e to the x minus e to the negative x over two. And this is equal to seven. We can simplify these fractions and we'll expand the brackets. So we get four e to the x plus four e to the minus x minus two e to the x plus two e to the negative x. And this plus is when you have this negative times this negative. And this is equal to 7. We can collect the like terms. So this becomes 2e to the x plus 6e to the minus x. And then we'll move this 7 to the left hand side. So minus 7 is equal to 0. Just like we did in the previous question, we'll multiply everything by e to the x because that will cancel out this term here. So now we get 2e to the 2x. We'll multiply the negative 7 first, so minus 7e to the x. 
and then this will become 6. And again, we can factorise this quadratic. So we get 2e to the x minus 3 and e to the x minus 2. So our solutions are when e to the x equals 3 over 2 and e to the x equals positive 2. Taking the natural log of both sides, x will be the natural log of 3 over 2 and x will be the natural log of 2. Okay? So that's a quick demonstration of how to solve hyperbolic equations using the exponential form. So in example two, we will simplify the equation by expressing one function in terms of the other using the hyperbolic Pythagorean identity. So what I mean by this is, we're going to write cosh squared of x using shine squared of x. Because we know that cosh squared of x minus shine squared of x is equal to one. And by moving this negative shine squared of x to the right side, we can write this in terms of shine. So cos squared of x will equal 1 plus shine squared of x. And now we can substitute this in place of this. So we get 1 plus shine squared of x minus 8 shine of x and we'll move this negative 14 to the left hand side and this will equal 0. We can tidy up this left hand side so we get shine squared of x minus 8 shine of x and then a 1 plus a 14 to make 15. And we can factorize this quadratic to make shine of x minus 3 and shine of x minus 5. So our solutions are when shine of x is equal to 3 and shine of x is equal to 5. And we can solve each of these by converting shine of x back to its exponential form. So e to the x minus e to the negative x over 2 will equal 3. So e to the x minus e to the negative x will equal 6. We'll multiply everything by e to the x. So e to the 2x minus 6e to the x minus 1 will equal 0. And we can solve this using completing the square. And we get e to the x is equal to 3 plus root 10. So x will be the natural log of 3 plus root 10. Our other solution, we'll just block this off. e to the x minus e to the negative x over 2 will equal 5. We'll multiply both sides by the 2. And then we'll multiply everything by e to the x. And again, we can solve this by completing the square. So e to the x is equal to 5 plus root 26. So x will be the natural log of 5 plus root 26. Okay. Okay, so in question 3, we're going to simplify this equation by applying hyperbolic identities. And the identity we're going to use is that sesh squared of x is equal to 1 minus fan squared of x, which is similar to the trigonometric identity involving sec squared and tan squared. We'll replace this sec squared with this, and we get 6 lots of 1 minus fan squared of x plus 7 fan of x, and we'll move this a to b left hand side this will equal zero so now we'll expand these brackets and we get six minus six fan squared of x plus seven fan of x minus eight is zero and now i'm going to move these terms to make this positive 
So we get 6 fan squared x minus 7 fan of x plus 2. We can factorise this left hand side and we get 3 fan of x minus 2 and 2 fan of x minus 1. So fan of x will equal 2 over 3 and fan of x will equal 1 half. And to solve each of these, we need to write fan of x in exponential form. So e to the 2x minus 1 over e to the 2x plus 1 is equal to 2 thirds. We'll move this to the right side and this to the left hand side. So we get 3e e to the 2x minus 3 is equal to 2e e to the 2x plus 2. We can move these to the left hand side. So e to the 2x will equal 5. To cancel out this 2, we can take the square root of both sides. So e to the x will equal the square root of 5. So x will equal the natural log of root 5. Okay, so for our other solution, we have e to the 2x minus 1 over e to the 2x plus 1 is equal to a half. We'll move this 2 to the left hand side and this to the right hand side. So 2e to the 2x minus 2 is equal to e to the 2x plus 1. So e to the 2x will equal 3. We'll take the square root to cancel out this 2. So e to the x will equal root 3. And then we'll take the natural log on both sides. So x equals the natural log of root 3. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that useful. You can download the full lesson and worksheet from my website, mrmathematics.com. There's a link in the description below. Thanks again and take care.